Welcome friends to Muskrat Links. Today we've got a super fun video for you guys. About seven months ago, I filmed a video where I did what is essentially the track man challenge, except it's on the sky track, where you hit a bunch of shots at different targets and then ultimately it gives you your handicap at the end. We did really well in that video. We ended up with a 4.3, but that was seven months ago. Since then we've got hole-in-ones on par fours, hole-in-ones on par threes. We've played countless rounds of golf through the Muskrat Link Sim Tour. I'd like to think that through those thousands of shots, I might have gotten a little better. Today, we are gonna find out. We've got the exact same settings. Let's jump in and see if I've improved over the course of one season on a simulator. Here you go guys, these are the settings we used last time, we're gonna keep them the same today. We've got 10 different targets we're aiming at, four shots at each target, it's taking the best three. We've got 60 yards, 80, 100, 115, 125, 140, 160, 180, 205, and lastly 280 with the driver. It doesn't exactly have like a driving mode where you just hit it as far and as straight as you can, so we just put it out there at 280 last time to try to see how close we can get to the green, so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, let's hop right in and see how close we can hit these shots. I'm not gonna show you guys every single shot because you've seen that all before, but we'll show you the highlights and we'll have some fun here today. 60 yard shot up here first. I've just got the 56 degree for this. We'll see if we can dial this in and stick a few close. That looks like a pretty decent first shot. Okay, very decent first shot, let's go. Okay, I chunked that one. Hopefully that one doesn't make the final cut. That's better get up a little bit for me. Okay, okay, we'll take it. And the last one with the 56. Seems pretty good, go a little, go a little. Perfect, we'll take that. All right, next yardage, 80. All right, this is like a three quarter swing 56. Here, let's see if we can stick these tight. We've got a little bit much on that one, but that's still a pretty respectable first shot. We'll take that. That seems better. I feel like I dialed that one in nicely. Oh, beauty, let's go. All right, this shows you why my approach play is so good in the sim tour. I'm just dialed in these numbers. Okay, well, we're probably not taking that one, but that's still a really good shot. <laughs> Fantastic, actually. All right, next distance, 100 yards. Apparently, I should just leave myself 80 yards in every hole. I'll pretty much just hole out. All right, this is a full swing 56 for sure. Let's see if we can get some of these on the dance floor. Full swing puts quite a bit of fade into it. I still like that though. Let's see if we can hit the uh, more center of the green on the next one. That's much better in terms of line and distance. Probably a land pin high spin back. Perfect. Little chunky, it needs to chunk and run. Get up there, don't spin, don't spin. All right, not terrible, but we're starting to see a little bit of dispersion there. All right, next yardage, 115. All right, we're clubbing up here, going up to the 52, see if we can put some down range. Well, we pulled that one left. Let's see what the distance is looking like. It's trying to work its way back. Distance was pretty good, actually. All right, let's straighten that out. That's a much better looking shot. Be the right number for me. Go a little. Perfect, all right. It's looking like another good looking one. Just get in the hole for me one time. Go a hair, hit the stick. Oh, it's all over it. Six feet. Fade for me, baby, fade. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, that's a pretty good showing overall from the 52 degree. Yeah, that's some nice numbers there. All right, what do we got next? 125. Going up to the pitching wedge here, and I just put a bunch of lead tape on this. You'll probably see that in some YouTube shorts coming out later. Maybe they're already out, but check them out. We did a lot of wedge construction in those shorts. It was a lot of fun. A low worm burner, but it's probably gonna work out for us. Hit the green at least. All right, decent. Not the best performance out of the, uh, the pitching wedge today, but not horrible. 140, up to the nine iron here. Let's see if we can dial a few in. Caught it a little heavy too, but that's a pretty good shot. Generally like to be inside of about 25 feet from here, so 24 foot six is just about passing. Now that's a much better nine iron. I caught all of it. Fading back, yeah, that's looking much better. Let's go. And carved off that one a little bit. That's probably the one we're throwing away. Yeah, just off the green. All right, on to the next club, which is 160 yards, probably the eight iron. 
flag starting to look pretty far away out there, but uh, I'd like to see if we can get all three on the green here, at least three counting ones on the green. Eight iron heading down range, fading a little much for my liking, needs to go a hair. We make the green, good first shot. That's looking a little bit better, not as much fade on that one, probably gonna be a good number as well. Beautiful, perfect. Yeah, a little short right. All right, let's see if we can get our last one on the green. Decent on the last one, probably gonna catch a piece. Yes, sir. All right, still an acceptable performance there from the eight iron from 160. Now it starts to heat up the 180. I think we'll skip the seven iron and go right up to the six. Again, I think two out of four on the green is my goal for this shot. Let's go. It's heading downfield. It is gonna hit the green, I think. Get on up there. All right, that is a good shot. I'm just thinking back to the sim tour of like all the approaches I've had on all the holes we've played. 180, six iron in hand. Let's see if we can run one up there. Oh no, that's looking very good as well. I just had to get myself in the mindset of the sim tour, then all of a sudden we're pin seeking again. Now, a lot of you guys might not have seen the sim tour before. It is a ton of fun and we're gonna have a great episode coming out shortly. I think we're playing at Atkinson and I had a really good first round. No spoilers, but second round's gonna be a banger too. Fading off a little bit, but we might still catch a piece. Kick to the left. Yeah, not quite, but still an okay shot. That looks like a much better one to end on. We are gonna hit the green with three out of four shots from 180 yards. That makes me feel pretty good. And now it's getting really spicy, 205. I'm gonna start out with the four iron here. I don't know if it's gonna carry that far, but hopefully it lands just short and runs up. That's kind of the goal for this shot. All right, again, two on the green, I'd be very happy. Sliced across that one. That is certainly not going to hit the green, but is it the right number? It probably was, you know, 200 yards off to the right. All right, let's see if we can dial a couple in. Again, flaring out to the right. One of those is gonna have to be taken. I'm not sure which is better. They're friggin' right on top of each other, so who knows? All right, let's straighten this thing out. Well, we straightened it out by virtue of playing that fade. Bounce up there. All right, that's more what we're talking about. Yeah, 23 feet from 205 yards, that'll play. All right, let's do another one just like that. Okay, never mind. Those are gonna hurt our score, that's for sure. Oh, it's gonna take those other two that are over there. That could be the difference right there. 280. This is where this could be decided. I think I did really well last time with the driver. I might've even hit the green a couple times, so. If we can get some of these close, this could be a huge deciding factor in seeing if I am better or worse after an entire season with a simulator. Ooh, it is looking very good. I went for the old fairway finder swing. That is gonna be on the center of the green to 21 feet from 280 yards. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful numbers on that as well. 2,800 backspins, a hair high for me, but the launch angle is perfect. The ball speed is nice and controlled. Let's do that again. Started it left, but faded it. It's looking pretty good. Little off the heel, so it's gonna be spinny, but oh my goodness. Basically right on top of each other. Wow. Yeah, launch angle 13, backspin about the same, ball speed. Little bit high, but we've started it further left and it came back a little bit more. Higher side spin. I mean, what more to say? Those are two fantastic drives. That one is not coming back though. She is staying perfectly straight. That might be the one we don't take, though it's still not that bad. Yeah, the dynamic handicap on that was only 11.2, so that's not horrible. One more. Man, it's almost as if I've hit thousands of drives approximately 280 something yards and this just just second nature for me, so. But I mean, who would do that? That'd be crazy. But it could be me. I might be the crazy one here. That's not gonna hit the green, but again, it's not gonna hurt us. That's certainly fine in the fairway. And that is that. Let's see what our number is. 2.0, bingo. We have improved over the previous one. I'm very happy about that because our previous number of 4.3 was very respectable. So the fact that we got a 2.0 there, especially with that four iron dispersion, oh, that makes me feel great. All right, let's go and take a closer look at some of these numbers and then compare that to our original shots. Just take a look at these guys, the distance to pin, 13 feet, seven feet from 80 yards. That's crazy. 
26, 13 from 115. You can start to see where I get these like little butter zones of skill right there. I need to leave myself these yardages into holes. And again, even going up through here from 180 yards, I'm averaging 25 and a half feet to the pin. That is amazing, beautiful to see. Green accuracy, super good all the way up to the 180. That is fantastic to see. I mean, those are just some pro level numbers right there. So that is looking beautiful. Look at these handicaps. Yeah, this is where I really lost it. Just the 205, if I hit the green with one or two more of those, that'd be a lot better than it actually is. But these handicap numbers look absolutely beautiful. I don't know what I am in real life, actually. I'm working on getting that this spring and summer. So maybe I can do some competitive golf for you guys. It'd be pretty cool if I could get myself into the state amateur tournament. That's a pretty lofty goal though, but hey, these numbers put me one step closer to that goal. So, all right. Uh, I think that's pretty much going to be it for me. Let's go ahead and outro this video and uh, get you guys on your way. Fantastic results for us out there, you guys. Hey, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We have been growing quite a bit recently. You guys know why, but I'm super proud of the content we're putting out here. The next video up is going to be amazing as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. But I think that is going to be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.